Yo, 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 what's up? This is German from JG Innovation Garage in the Peach Capital of the State. Uh, it is. Say, let me show you. It is 75 degrees. Humidity is almost 80 some percent. All right, so let me show you this. So, everybody knows, has been following it. I appreciate everybody. My air comes from way up there, all the way down, comes in, comes in the wall, runs all the way down, goes into that, comes around, goes through every bit of this, comes out of this, runs back into this, runs out of here, and over to here. If you see the overspray on the wall, it's because it's on booth coat and I come in here with a pressure washer and with everything turned off and hot water and it'll run down. But anyways, you see that, right? So at the main shop, have a 140 gallon tank Emersol Ram. It comes into the building. Then it comes, comes into the building. It's got a drop. You need 50 foot from the compressor to your dryer to let it cool down before but so you don't have a lot of moisture. Well, it's 100% moisture here. I got a fan blowing on my compressor um, to keep it cool. Um, Cause here last week we had a hot flash and stuff just couldn't take it. So anyways, with that, um, goes through that, comes up and it's all three quarter, it's all one inch inside and it comes into the shop and it drops down to three quarter ID inside dimensions. So then after it comes into that, it's got a drop, about three foot drop. Um, and then it goes over and then it goes up and down and another drop. And then it goes into the first water separator. It goes through a water separator, oil separator. Then there's a gauge, a glass gauge that tells me what the tank pressure is from the outside, which is about 175 PSI. <clears throat> then I have a regulator. I turn it down to to a hundred, I, so I, I bring it down to a hundred, and then it goes through, a, and the regulator has a gauge on it, but then I got another glass gauge on it to see if there's any difference, and all, all of them, those two are the same. Then it goes up the wall, about seven, eight foot, over, down, another drop, then into the refrigerator dryer. Then after it goes out of the refrigerator dryer, it runs the length of the shop, which is 40 some feet. I got three or four drop downs there for air lines. And then it comes out, goes into the ground, 36 inches into a three quarter ID pipe from wrap wire, that full 300 foot length. And I bought the nineties that went with it. I put that inside of a pipe and buried it 36 inches in the ground. Then it comes out and comes through and comes all the way over here and comes in. And then after it comes into this line here, then it goes through this five stage system uh, from the Vivas that I got from another shop and I rebuilt it, reserviced it. So you got these three systems Then it goes through the condensate bags, comes up. Then this regulator here, I turn, uh, this regulator here uh, runs around, comes down, comes out of that, goes into that. But also I got a gauge here and a gauge on the wall coming out of the main shop. So it's a hundred, it's 105 PSI on the wall. It's 105 PSI on this wall. I have no friction loss and over 200 and some feet. This one I wanna show you. Everybody's asking me, man, how you do with water? How you do with water? How you do with water? What's the water like? What's the water like? What's the water like? Let me show you something. All right, stay down here. All right, look at here. I've used this I've used this setup for about two or three months now and I have not drained this yet. Okay, look at this. Let's see if there's anything in it. This rust. This rust. No water. That's dry as a bone. So I might be over killing it, but I'm sure killing it. Hey, when somebody tells you, I don't know why you're doing that, you can do it this way, say, I done it that way. You know why I done it that way? You know why I done it that way? Because I wanted to, it was mine. Just like when people say, how much you want for that car, Jay? Um, 
$5,000. Yep. What makes you think it's worth $5,000? It's mine. <laughs> hey, appreciate everybody. I'm fixing to wash out the booth and I got some little small stuff I need to knock out today. And we'll go from there. And everybody, put God first. Don't worry about what the man up the road is doing. Don't worry about what the man down the road is doing. Soup off your own front porch before you worry about somebody else's porch. And nobody is perfect. <clears throat> nobody is perfect. Everybody has flaws, even including myself. Everybody, give me a like, give me a share, give me a follow. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out.